Hi there, this is Catherine Dow with Network in Action Eastside. Today I have with me Armando Jr. from World Class Services. Armando, thanks so much for joining me this morning. How are you? Doing great, thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Um, so I'd love you with, uh, for you to share um, really how did you got to where you are today? Tell me about your company, what you do, and really how you got there. Yeah, I'd love to share that with you. So um, the company is started by my father and myself. He's been in the HVAC industry since about 2008. And my service, my experience prior to that was about 10 years um, in military special operations, um, six active duty and three and a half or so as a contractor. And really how we got started here in this business was, um, you know, my father's worked for a number of companies and it's always the same story. They start out well-intentioned. Um, great value. And as things kind of grow and mature, they become greedy and start to promote some dishonest practices, um, which don't fit well with our family values, certainly not his and not my military core values, which are of honesty and integrity. So um, once I kind of understood that picture, I saw an opportunity for us to give our community something that was missing, which sadly is an honest service provider. And so my father and I set out to provide you know, world-class services at affordable rates with honesty and integrity the entire way. And that's really been the framework. And the reason why we've been successful is because we're offering that um, unique value uh, proposition to the community. That's, um, that's so great to hear, Armando. And thank you for your service all those years. And I love that you've incorporated those core values into your company. Um, you're right, it, it's such a need and it's exciting to see that um, in your HVAC uh, customer service and like built into the really core values of everything you stand for. I'm curious, um, do you serve residential, commercial? Do you have a focus? Is there a, a direction you're looking to grow um, over the year? Yeah, so we definitely service both residential and commercial. Mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of the, the cool story is we launched the beginning of um, the entire COVID situation here in Washington, right? So one of the most restricted states in the country. Um, and we launched during that time. So right around uh, this time last year was when we when we started. Um, certainly at that point, there's a lot of commercial businesses shut down. So sure. um, that side of things was slower to get started, given that most business owners weren't operating or wanting to um, incur any additional expenses and maintenance or replacement, given that you know, business wasn't coming in. Um, so for that reason, you know, we've specialized mostly in residential, but we are servicing commercial units as well. And that's continuing to expand as things, uh, you know, continue to open up and things kind of get back to what normalcy um, yeah. looks like for us here, at least in Seattle. Yeah, absolutely. You you totally uh, led to what my next question was going to be is how the pandemic had impacted um, how you work with your clients. So um, yeah, I can definitely see how obviously commercial wasn't as huge of a focus with businesses being closed. Um, but I take it, you know, has the pandemic changed how you actually interact with your clients and, and how you provide those services or you know, when you actually kicked things off, you were already in that moment. So I guess you were fully designed and ready for that. Um, but how does yeah. that look different than maybe a, a contractor who was already established um, prior to the pandemic, you know? Yeah, I think there's probably some some pros and cons to it, right? Us launching during that, um, that time, we know no different, right? So that yeah. Yeah. kind of, um, that hustle, that grind, the adaptability, the innovation, um, which is something we've always thought we were going to be naturally good at, um, was really put to the test and, and proven during that time where, you know, companies were continuing to lay off, fire, or shut down doors. Uh, we were continuing to grow and hire and help the community as much as possible um, by staying, you know, aggressive in our relentless pursuit for um, offering our services to our community. It allowed us to, to grow and not, you know, operate cautiously um, right. in terms of business operations, certainly safety, health concerns, yes, we operate cautiously. We um, equipped, um, you know, everybody with masks, sanitizer, mm -hmm. implemented, especially at the beginning, social distancing, what everybody was kind of um, understandably um, unsure of what was going on. And we did remote consultations as well, um, just to try to um, gauge, you know, where that customer is and their, and their comfort level with the situation. And that was one of the questions we asked from the very beginning is, you know, is there anyone in the home that um, has been exposed to anything? Um, that could be of concern or is there any kind of worries or um, at-risk people so that we can cautiously approach that situation and make sure that they're comfortable 
uh, throughout the entire process with us. Well, thank you for sharing really your process and the safety that you take for not only your customers, but your employees. It's greatly appreciated. Um, and I'd love for you to share us, you know, gosh, it's, it's so exciting to see that you actually started a business during the pandemic and didn't let that deter you or slow you down, that you recognize that opportunity and growth and you've persevered through that. Um, so share, me, share with me along the way, what's been one of your favorite client stories of how you've um, helped one of your recent clients? Yeah, I mean, there's there's many, right? I think it's yeah. such a rewarding field to be in because um, home comfort is is not just a desire; it's a necessity, especially in in the summertime and in the wintertime. There's there's families, um, you know, without heat or without AC, and they've got infants, and it's um, situations where they're there. It's never good news when we're out there, right? Nobody wants us to sure. to come out. They don't want to see an HVAC person um, or do electrical work, but um, our ability to help them out and give them affordable solutions at world-class quality is, is very rewarding. And that correlation there between our success and the number of families we help is, is quite amazing. And I'm really honored to, to be a part of it. And, you know, that's just something I'll continue to, to be proud of and continue to, um, our goals, you know, each year are set as how many families can we help, not a certain metric yeah. for revenue or whatever it may be. Yeah. It's, how many families can we help? Can we double the amount of families that we helped last year? Um, and so it's really, really cool correlation there. Oh, that's such a, a great way to measure success and, and growth. Um, and I'm so excited to see your company grow over the next several years and, and really achieve those, those goals. And if a family wanted to get in touch with you because they were needing your services, what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, the best way um, is either give us a call directly at 253-343. 0000. zero, zero, zero. We chose that number because it's easy to memorize and um, get a hold of us. We're always available 24 seven. So if there's not somebody here in the office, we will have a live person take the call, take the message. And I don't sleep. So I'll probably see the message and reach out immediately. Um, and the other way would be just to visit us on our website and send us a message there. Um, it is myworldclassservices.com. And they can reach out to us directly uh, via text there or even send an email. Great, thank you so much for joining me today. And I'm wishing you all the best in your business growth and journey. Take thank care, so much, Armando. Thank You're you. welcome.